in this segment we will be covering the topic income elasticity of demand income elasticity in the last videos we have studied what is price elasticity what is price elasticity it is nothing but the degree of responsiveness of what of demand to to a change in price in the same manner income elasticity is nothing but degree of responsiveness of demand to a change in income degree of responsiveness of demand to a change in income now how is income elasticity calculated it is calculated exactly in the same manner as we calculate price elasticity of demand price elasticity of demand is calculated with the formula percentage change of quantity demanded by percentage change in price but here in place of price we have income so in the denominator it is percentage change in income but please bear in mind although income elasticity of demand is calculated in the similar manner as we do for price elasticity the relation that exists between income and demand is direct direct demand is directly related to income that is an increase in income will lead to increase in demand and a decrease in income will lead to decrease in demand this is not the case in price elasticity the relation there is inverse the relation in case of income elasticity is direct now because the relation is direct you will never get an answer which is in negative in price elasticity we always got an answer which was in negative because there existed a indirect relation but in income elasticity the answer is always positive we also have one more formula to calculate income elasticity of demand it is change in quantity divided by original quantity into original income divided by change in income now if you have a closer look this formula is also similar to price elasticity formula the only difference being here in price elasticity there was original price and in case of change in income it is change in price so the formula in both the cases in this case and in this case remains almost the same the only difference is in case of income elasticity income is replacing price at place of price we put income now let's take an example let's say the income of an individual is 10000 rupees in a month at this income level he purchases 100 units of a commodity now the income level rises to 15000 rupees and at this income level his consumption rises to 200 units now how do we calculate income elasticity here income elasticity here can be calculated by either of the formulas let's do it one by one so for first formula we need change in quantity demanded change in quantity demanded is 
200 minus 100 which is 100 but this will not suffice our purpose we need percentage change in quantity demanded so percentage change in quantity demanded would be change in quantity demanded upon original quantity into 100 so a numerator here is 100 now let's calculate percentage change in income change in income is 15,000 minus 10,000 that is 5,000 and original income was 10,000 into 100 so this equals to 50% so, so the denominator here is 50 so going by the formula we can say that the income elasticity of demand here is 100 by 50 which is 2 now let's try to calculate this thing with the other formula change in quantity now please bear in mind in this formula we are not required to calculate percentage change in quantity we only want change in quantity in absolute terms the change in quantity here is 100 original quantity also is 100 original income is 10,000 change in income is 15,000 minus 10,000 5,000 so again we get the answer as 2 so we solved this example with both the formula now let's try to have a look at these propositions first proportion of income spent increases proportion of income spent increases more than one now i like to draw your attention i like to take your attention back to total outlay method of finding out price elasticity in total outlay method we had a similar proposition which said that if the total expenditure increases that is it is more than one then we can say that the elasticity of demand is elastic so in this case also we can say that the income elasticity is elastic the demand is elastic towards income second proportion of income spent remains same the change in demand is equivalent to the change in income so you spend the equal amount of income earlier also you were spending the same amount now also you are spending the same amount so in this case we can say that the income spent remains the same and when the income spent remains the same we call it unitary elasticity and finally when the proportion of income spent decreases that is it becomes less than 1 we say that the demand is inelastic this is perfectly similar to total outlay method we have same propositions in total outlay method the only difference is we take expenditure there and in income elasticity we consider the proportionate increase income expenditure where the income is increasing and the expenditure is also increasing 